Hello everyone, it's Lisa here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another speed build for you. Maybe that's a little bit unusual because it's Wednesday and not one of my usual upload days, but I was just in the mood for that to upload this build here because it was finished and therefore I just thought, okay, I really want to share it and therefore I just did that because uh, next week I'm going to upload a lot of builds with the new gameplay pack which is coming and I am so excited for that. <laughs> I really like, I watched the uh, live stream yesterday from the uh, gurus, the sim gurus and the pack looks so amazing. Really it's, I think even the gameplay looks so so nice and <laughs> I'm maybe even more excited about the gameplay than I am for all the like furniture and stuff and that's so unusual for me because as you may know I never do gameplay <laughs> and I'm just super excited to like yeah I don't know I'm really excited for that pack and I want to have it like now but I sadly still have to wait like a week but yeah so prepare for a lot of like I don't know what kind of theme that is I think it's yeah, I'm not sure, like, I think it's mid-century modern style, but I think I'm not going to build, like, mid-century modern homes, because that's not, I don't know, that's nothing, like, that I enjoy building, but maybe I will, like, sometimes I do enjoy that, so whatever. But anyways, I'm just so hyped for that pack. <laughs> but yeah, we are building in Oasis Springs here, and it's a 20 by 50 lot no it's a 30 by 20 lot sorry <laughs> yeah and it's in the neighborhood like in the upper right corner and it's like the same neighborhood where Johnny Sest lives in his trailer and it's basically just I'm not quite sure how I'm going to call this here but it's something with a lot of plants but only on the exterior <laughs> like the interior is pretty like neutral I would say I didn't even use that much colors I think the only colors or like the most most of the colors I'm using are here on the exterior those plants and flowers here on the top and it is inspired by a picture that I saw on Pinterest which is uh, linked down in the description box as always and yeah uh, it is like a trailer I think from a woman and her daughter and there's actually a whole YouTube video about that trailer and I will link that down in the description box as well because I think it's super fun to watch like there I think it's some kind of YouTube channel and they go through a lot of tiny homes and there you can see like everything from the home and also the whole like video was very entertaining actually and yeah, so if you're interested how this house here looks in real life, you can check that out. But I only uh, like took inspiration from the exterior, like with those plant things on the top, <laughs> if that's how, how you call it, I'm not too sure. So the interior is totally different. Uh, I tried to make it a little bit like two stories, like with some platforms and some tricks, but that didn't really work out because it was looking weird and stuff and I didn't like that so therefore I scrapped that idea <laughs> and I just made it like simple one story home and it has some trailer vibes for me but it's not really a trailer so <laughs> yeah I, I really have no idea how I'm going to call that I'm always like so not creative when it comes to naming I'm like always like <laughs> I have no idea yeah, I, I have to figure that out. But anyways, it's for like, I think three sims in total. So you can have two parents and one kid living here. And the kid could also be a teenager, I think. Or, you know, I think I placed down the drawing table for kids in there. So but you can just change that up however you would like. And yeah, so the exterior is almost finished. And I really enjoyed using those vibrant colors for the plants those uh like yeah the how what's that color pinkish reddish those like really bright ones they are from jungle adventure no not jungle adventure the stove here is from and that's also not a stove the barbecue there is from jungle adventure <laughs> and those are from island living the plants i was talking about earlier and i'm also using a lot from uh, the romantic garden stuff pack which i enjoy so much i absolutely love that pack it's I use those plants like all the time and I definitely can recommend that. <laughs> uh, yeah, 
but so the exterior landscaping and stuff like that is finished and I'm going on with the little front patio and yeah I basically just added some greenery stuff and a picnic table so that your sims can sit outside as well and now we are going on to the interior so as I mentioned before it's not that colorful it's very mm, toned down I would call it if that's the right word I'm not too sure but yeah everything has a little bit of this industrial vibe but not the kids room that the kids room looks like a normal kids room I would say uh, but the rest of the apartment has those colors here which you can see there like a lot of brownish and black and also white so that's basically what I like used the colors and yeah so I'm using the base game kitchen here because I really do like the texture but only like the texture from the like the surface I would call it I think but the rest is really it's it's a base game kitchen and therefore you can see that it's base game and it has some like stuff which is not that perfect if I would call it like that <laughs> but the upper cabinets are from the cool kitchen stuff pack and the appliances in the kitchen are as well yes so I'm adding those curtains everywhere as well which are from the parenthood pack and I absolutely love those curtains I think they are amazing and yeah so they're just so transparent and we don't have any other curtains which are like that I think and that's what I kind of like about them <laughs> yeah but now I'm just cluttering up the whole kitchen and I'm pretty much using the same items like I always do for kitchens <laughs> a lot from the cool kitchen stuff pack and also from the dine out pack yeah like those um yeah okay I don't know how to call them those those things where I which I just placed on here on the like I think there might be some herbs in it or some vegetables or whatever but some something to eat I think <laughs> so I use them and also the cutting board here on the wall and those yeah just just a lot of stuff from those two packs because I think for kitchens these are definitely the best like clutter packs like if, if it comes to kitchens at least yeah, so I really enjoyed using them. And here I thought for a second I could maybe use this bread box. Like it's for kids, I think, because there are some kids' motives on it, on them. But I just didn't like how it looked. It didn't fit the whole vibe here in the like living area, so I didn't do that. <laughs> and here I'm doing the little dining table, but I'm going to switch that out later on. Because, uh, yeah, the whole like... I wasn't too sure about the whole like because the room is basically just a box and it, it just didn't fit how I wanted it to look like so there was this empty space in front of the entry door and I didn't like that at all so I pushed the dining table there and in the space where I have the dining table right now I'm going to add I think a desk with a little computer yes so here I'm decorating the living area and I'm giving them a TV and a stereo and yeah just I'm actually using those couches which came with the paranormal stuff pack and I haven't used stuff from that pack like in a really long time actually I'm like okay I am overusing this hanging plant like crazy because the plant is just it's amazing and yeah but the rest from the pack I'm actually not using that much how I thought I would <laughs> and uh, yeah this is also uh, recorded before I got the new kit the country not country how's it called courtyard oasis <laughs> uh, yeah before I got that kit and uh, so therefore I'm not using any of those items as well but actually I think I wouldn't have used any of those anyway because they don't fit here at all I think like Maybe the banana plant, because the banana plant looks gorgeous. <laughs> but yeah, so the main area here is finished. And I think we're going on with the bathroom maybe next. Or the kids room or the bedroom for the parents. I have no idea. Okay, it's the bathroom. <laughs> so it's just a basic bathroom which has a shower top combo and a toilet and a sink. So pretty simple, but I really have to step up my interior like decorating 
decorating skills in The Sims, like in bathrooms especially, I think. <laughs> when it comes to exteriors, I'm always super happy with how it looks and everything, but like when it comes to interiors, I, I still feel like I have a lot to learn and I can improve there a lot. So that's what I really am trying to do at the moment, a little bit. I'm not too sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I am trying that a little bit. <laughs> but I just have so much fun with the exterior, so that's why maybe my interiors are not that detailed how my exteriors are sometimes. I'm not too sure. But like, I'm super happy with the exterior of my home, so that's what I just wanted to say. And yeah, so here is the parents' bedroom. And there is not that much going on, I would say, because I just didn't really know what to put there actually <laughs> and the colors are very like yeah this grayish color and the white and black and the wall here is from uh, eco lifestyle it is and i thought it gives the whole room a little bit more of a color pop maybe <laughs> yeah so here i'm decorating the kids room and that's actually the last room that we are decorating so it's just one kid who can sleep here and I gave them I think um, yeah this bookshelf here which is from the kids room stuff pack and also this little lamp which is just so cute I think <laughs> it's from uh, the my first pet stuff yeah I know that this pack got a lot of critique <laughs> from a lot of people but I actually really do like that pack and I feel the same that it should have come with the cats and dogs expansion pack like it shouldn't have to be an own like its own stuff pack <laughs> but I still enjoy so many items from it like the couches the couches are beautiful yeah but uh, yeah I'm only using the lamp here I think from this pack so yeah <laughs> uh, but anyways we are almost at the end of the video so I really do hope that you enjoyed this short quick video <laughs> and if you did then please give it a thumbs up and also you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already because that would really help me out and yeah so i hope i will see you all in my next video goodbye